Welcome to this tutorial about importing files from Figma into Bubble. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your import and what you need to do to get pages ready in Bubble after you've imported them from Figma. So let's start out by, I'm going to upload this Figma file that I have gotten from a designer. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to note this file here and over in bubble, this file uh, ID, over in bubble under settings general, you're going to want to put that file ID here. And then next up, you're going to want to come over to your account. Here under settings, under your account, add a token description. So here we're going to say bubble Figma file. And then copy this token and paste that in over in bubble. So let's double check this file ID. Okay. So it looks like you just need to enter your API key in and then your Figma file ID uh, afterwards to get this thing to, to work. Uh, perhaps there's some kind of sequence there. Anyways, we'll click on import and we'll sit and we'll wait and we'll hang out for a moment. Cool. So I've got this imported in and Basically, when I compare this to some of my other screens, like for example, uh, let's go here. We can see that uh, I have some reusable stuff on some other screens and on this new screen. I also want to make it, I want to upgrade this to responsive. One of the things you're going to want to do after you've imported your Figma file into Bubble is work your way through all of the elements, the visual elements here in the elements tree that have been imported into your app. It's a great opportunity to really see and dig down to like what exactly is it here that I'm working with uh, because th this process is going to give you the... Um, the ability to just know what is in your app and as the person building it, um, that is a great thing to do. So uh, I'm gonna start here and basically go from the top level So after going through everything one by one, all of the elements to make sure that they're responsive and also just to understand the organization of my page in case I need to go back and change everything. And uh, as a developer of the app, it's always a good idea to uh, have an idea of, you know, what's really going on in the nitty gritty of your pages, uh, even if it's just a one time through. So after that, uh, I've got the responsiveness set up uh, exactly how I uh, want it to be and importing from Figma to speed up the amount of UI work uh, that I need to do for a page. That's, uh, that's the long and short of it. So hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a future video.